There are a number of areas on which I hope Parliament might see it fit to focus during this upcoming session. Areas of focus which I hope Parliament will agree can help Trinidad and Tobago to get things right. Permit me to list just five of them. First, I hope that there can be greater collaboration across the aisle, particularly where legislative and other measures designed to help us fight crime are concerned. The urgency is obvious. The pain and the suffering are unbearable. These alone should drive parliamentarians to put aside their party rivalries, join hands across the aisle, and collaborate on how to stem crime and criminal conduct. I appreciate that some will see, as Samuel Johnson once famously said, that that, like a second marriage, is the triumph of hope over experience. But I prefer to associate myself with the more uplifting philosophy contained in Alexander Pope's equally famous statement that hope springs eternal in the human breast. Second, my hope is that Parliament will, in that vein, pull together to enact laws that are even more reflective of our society's goals and vision, including in relating to legislation, in relation to legislation that both protects and advances culture and the arts. In particular, I hope that it will be seen fit for there to be an urgent parliamentary intervention that results at long last in the steel pan being firmly and irrevocably declared our national instrument. Those in the industry will tell you that giving the steel pan formal and official national instrument status is critical to opening doors for the industry in international markets. The General Assembly of the United Nations has formally recognized the universal value and significance of the steel pan. I believe that it is high time that we formally do the same. Third, I hope that we will see the appearance of additional legislation that helps us further entrench our country's place in the modern age, including in areas such as persons with disabilities. More than 20 years ago, when I held my very first cabinet position as Minister with Responsibility for Social Services Delivery, it became clear from the many protests that were held at that time that it was urgent for more attention to be paid to the needs and the rights of persons with disabilities. Over the years since then, there has been a great deal of consultation over a Persons with Disabilities Act. It is my hope that these consultations will bear fruit during the life of this parliamentary session and that this country will have legislation that better promotes and protects the rights of persons with disabilities. If we are to become a developed country, we need to have laws that create a more inclusive society.